Hello friends, in this video we shall try to learn the basic concepts or basic tools which are used in statistics. These tools include mean, variance, covariance, standard deviation, coefficient of correlation and coefficient of determination. This we shall learn by way of an example. Following data relating to temperatures and sale of ice cream has been collected to understand the relationship between these two variables. We have two variables. One is the temperatures and other is the sale of ice cream. Which of these is dependent variable? That is question number one. Further, please calculate mean, variance, covariance, standard deviation, coefficient of correlation and coefficient of determination. This is the data given to us. This is the level of temperature. This is the sale of ice cream. Since sale of ice cream is dependent upon the temperature, hence the temperature is called the independent variable. And independent variable is represented by X. Ice cream, it is dependent upon temperature. Hence, this is dependent variable and this is represented by Y. When temperature is 68, the ice cream sale is 9. When temperature rises, the ice cream sale increases and so on. And we have to find out the relationship in the following forms. Friends, to make a calculation of all these concepts, all these measures, this is the first thing we have to do. We have to calculate, first of all, the mean of variable x. How do we calculate mean of variable x? These are the values. We have placed these values here. We add up these values and divide by number of these items. There are 8 items here. 588 divided by 8, 73.5. This is mean of variable x. After calculation of mean, we shall calculate the deviation from the mean. Deviation in respect of x is represented by small x. Small x is equal to value of x minus this mean. So x minus mean, this will be the deviation. 65 minus 73.5, we get the value minus 8.5. And this calculation we make in respect of all the observations. If we add it up, we shall get the value 0. Third, now we shall square these values. We shall find out square of x. Minus 8.5 multiplied by minus 8.5, we get 72.25. In this way, we square all the items and this is the total of all these 366. The same process will be followed in respect of y. This is value of y we have placed from here. Then first, we shall calculate the average. 104 is the total. There are 8 items, hence mean will be 13. Then we shall calculate deviation from mean. This deviation is represented by small y in respect of y variable values. This is, we calculated the deviations as we had calculated in respect of x. Then y square and then we add it up. And finally, we shall calculate value of x, y. This is x, this is y means minus 8.5 multiplied by minus 4, we get the value 34 positive. 
and so on. And finally, we also find total of this. To make a calculation of all these, now we have all the basic information available with us. Now primarily what we need is the formula. So mean we have already calculated for variable x and for variable y also. So mean is equal to summation of x divided by number of observations. Summation of x is 588 number of items is 8 so 588 divided by 8 73.5 in the same way we get mean of y then we shall calculate variance of x x variance how do we find x square the small x so here we got the summation of x square 366 divided by number of observations. When we divide this value by number of observations, we get the variance of that particular variable. Based on variable, we can find out standard deviation of x. Standard deviation is equal to square root of the x variance. x variance is 45.75. We will find out square root of this. It is 6.7576. So this is standard deviation of x. In the same way, we will calculate y variance. So y variance will be equal to summation y square divided by n. Summation y square is 200 divided by number of items that is 8. 25 is the variance in respect of y variable. To calculate standard deviation, so we shall calculate square root of y variance. Square root is 25, variance is 25, the square root shall be 5. Standard deviation of x is 6.76, standard deviation of y is 5. So mean we have calculated, variance for x we have calculated, for y also we have calculated. Then standard deviation we have calculated for x also, we have calculated for y also. Now calculation of covariance. How do we calculate covariance? Covariance is equal to summation xy means this figure divided by number of observations. So 202 divided by 8 we get 25.25. This is the value we get 25.25 that is covariance. Now we shall calculate coefficient of correlation. This is R. It represents coefficient of correlation. This is the formula to calculate it. Summation xy means 202 divided by square root of x square means this value multiplied by y square means this value. Let us place the values. Summation xy 202 divided by square root of x square summation 366 y square summation 200. So we make the simplification and we get the correlation. This is 0 0.747. What is indicated by correlation? Correlation indicates that there is a relationship between x and y and it is positive relationship. And what is the degree of this relationship? The degree of this relationship is moderate. It could be very high when it is nearing 1. It is very low when it is nearing zero and this is moderately high. Correlation can be calculated by using another formula also. So correlation is equal to covariance xy divided by standard deviation x multiplied by standard deviation y. These values already we have calculated. 
So covariance x y we have already calculated 25.25. Then standard deviation of x we have already calculated 6.76. Standard deviation of y we have already calculated it is 5. Hence the same result we find here. And finally coefficient of determination. So coefficient of determination is nothing but square of r. r into r that is square of r. So we calculate the value 0 0.747 multiplied by the same figure we get 0.557. Well friends in this 11 minutes video we have been able to calculate a number of measures. This include mean, variance, covariance, standard deviation, coefficient of correlation, determination. These are the basic measures, basic tools which are used in statistics. So understanding of these tools is very very important for those students who want to proceed with statistics. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video will be very very useful for you. In case you find the contents useful, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and all the very best.